Amen. Karibuni sana. Welcome, welcome to the service of the day. God bless you. We welcome each one of you, those who are visitors, walio wageni, in our midst, and wale wanatrazama kwa mtandao pia. We say welcome to the service of the day. God bless you. You are in the right place. Amen. Hallelujah. Bana yesu ainuliwe. As you take your seat, I... I want us to uh, go to the word where we left on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, I was sharing on a, the word of God. That God has exalted his word above his name. Kwa mbabana amelinua neno lake zaidi ya majina yake. And I said, ni vizuri tuelewe the value God has given to his word. Because the word of God is God himself. There is no separation between the word of God and the God. Because the word became flesh and it dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The only begotten of the Father. Hallelujah. That neno lile mungu analolinena. He manifested it in Christ Jesus. And when we read the word, we are reading not just another letter. Lakini kwamba it is the breath of God. It, is, it is speaks the mind of God. It is God addressing us. Ni mungu akitunenea. And so, you cannot separate the world and the God. And I said you cannot love God and then not love his word. If you love the word, then you love God. And if you love God, you love his word. Now, I want us to remember we said this word has power. This word is the inspiration of God. And this word is what cleanses the believer. Kwamba, wewe kama a believer, when you dwell in the word, the word cleanses you. Inakuosha. Inaosha mawazo yako. Inaosha your, 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 your mind. Inaosha your plans. Inakusandify. According to the book of Ephesians chapter 5, Paul said that God washes us by the word as you wash something with water. Now, you cannot be a believer who is sanctified when you don't read the word. Neno dilo linakusafisha, inakutakaza, inakuosha unafaa, unasimama mbele zake bwana. Unaitwa mtakatifu. Bwana wetu apewe sifa. And we wound up by saying the word is our guide. Your word is a lamp to my feet. A light to my path. A lamp to my feet. Bwana wetu ainuliwe. And we said when the word is leading you, neno hili linapokuongoza, it will lead you into the right places. It will guide you into the green pastures. When the word is leading you, when it is your guide, it is the compass that can never make an error. I wezi fanya makosa. I wezi kukuongoza katika uovu. I wezi kukuongoza kutenda dhambi. I wezi kukuongoza katika makosa. Kama ile tulisema, watu wanaenda kwa waganga, wanaenda kwa laguzi, wanaenda kwa false prophets, wanafuata watu wasio na Mungu wakisema wanamfuata Mungu and we said when the word is guiding you it will be you are it will help you to discern yani kuweza kupambanua to know when the person speaking to you is not the right person 
when the person telling you is a man of God is not truly a man of God. It will be able to help you to separate the false prophets and the real prophets of God. Wale walio manabi wa uongo na walio manabi wa ukweli. Bwana asifiwe. Na tukasema nabi wa kweli ananena jambo na linatendeka. Bwana yetainuliwe. Nabi wa uongo anaweza hata fanya miujiza. Anaweza hata kubashiri jambo na litimie. Lakini baadaye akutoe katika njia za Mungu, katika e, mawazo ya Mungu. Bwana yetainuliwe. Praise God. There is an old prophet we read in the Bible who spoke to another prophet. The prophet was sent to go and prophesy against the altar in Bethel. Na kaenda na akatoa unabii and he said your altar you will be split. And he gave the prophetic word of God as God had told him. Na akaambiwa Mungu alipomtuma alimwambia when you go there don't eat and they don't spend a night there. And another prophet, the Bible calls him the old prophet. Akamfuata akamwambia hata mimi ni nabii wa Mungu. Na hata Mungu amenizungumzia na ameniambia ya kwamba urudi uende kwangu na tulale na ukule and he did what God had told him not to do. Let me tell you. Always when God has spoken in his word, when God has said what is right, don't look for a second opinion. Don't look for another voice. Don't listen to a second person. The word of God is authoritative. It is inerrant. I was it Kosea. And so, when God has spoken, don't seek for human opinion because it can easily mislead you. Bwana wetu inuliwe. And so I want to pick it from there and tell you as a child of God, be very clear and understand the word. Read the word so that it can order your life. It can order your steps. It can guide your life and you'll never error in Jesus name. Another quality that we find in the word is that the word of God has creative power. Kwamba neno la Mungu lina nguvu za kuumba. It has the ability to create things. It has the ability to make things that are not there to come to be. The word of God is say that in the beginning when God was creating the world that he spoke a word. And the word he spoke it came to be. The Bible say in the book of Genesis and the God said let there be light and there was light and he separated the light from the darkness then john says all things the world held among us and the, he, he winds up by saying can we go to the book of john so that you see that when god was speaking his word the book of uh, john chapter 1 John chapter 1. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by Him. And without Him, there is nothing that was made. Praise God. The Word was with God at the beginning. We are talking of the word is alive. The word is active. The word has power. The word is creative. In a, in a fanya mambo ya umbike. And when God would say, let there be a separation. 
between the waters in the land and the waters in the firmament. Let there be a separation between the sea and the dry land. And they land is in a tengana, and they get into creation and they separate. The Bible say the word of God that God spoke the word. And because he was there with God and all things were created in him, the word. The word of God is Christ himself. Hallelujah. And without him, the Bible says, nothing was created. It is good that we understand that when we read the word of God, we are reading the mind of God. We are reading, we are listening to the voice of God. God is addressing us. God is speaking to us. Because the Bible says, in Psalms 33 verse 6, By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the bread of his mouth. By the word of God. Hallelujah. Kwa neno la mungu, vyote tunaviona, God spoke. And that's why you need to know the power in the word of God. The power when we are able to lift that word and speak it, that we are speaking the mind of God. And it has the same ability. It has the same power. Hallelujah. It has the same ability and the same power. Hebrews 11.3 says, By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith, we understand that God spoke a word and the things that we see today, the visible things, zile vitu tunaona, they were not created with material things, but by the word of God. Hallelujah. Zile vitu naona, they were not created, the trees, they were not created with material things, but God spoke a word and the trees came into being. Hallelujah. God's word has creative power to create matter. Science cannot create matter, neither can it destroy matter. It can only change its form. But God, by the word of God, you can create things. Hallelujah. Yani vitu zinajengeka. That is why when we pray, we speak to a liver that is sick. And we command it in the name of Jesus to get healed. And the creative power in atengeneza another liver. Not the, the sick one. But God is able to create and replace the sick with a better or a new one. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. One time I witnessed a miracle of a man of God that was praying for somebody who had a short leg. And you know, you can see a miracle of creation. And when he prayed, he said, he, in fact, he made a very simple prayer. And he said, in Jesus' name, I declare this leg is healed. And he touched the leg, unaona mgu ikikua. And the leg extended and it grew and it became completely well formed. In the eyes of everybody who was in the conference. You know, God's word is creative. That you can speak this word and it can create things. You know, when we understand the, 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 the power in the word, when we understand the creative power in the word and we believe it, one, it creates faith in us. Hallelujah. In a jenga iman in Danieto, the Bible says this word because it has created power, it has been tried. So when we say you can try it, it has been tried and it has been proved to be true. 
that what it says it can do, it does. What it promises, it fulfills. Praise God. Psalms verse 12, chapter 12, verse 6 and 8. Psalms 12, 6 and 8 says, A silver is the silver the word has been tried in a furnace, purified seven times. Praise God. That God has tried his word. This word that he gave us, he has tried it. It has been purified. It has been refined. Just like we purify gold and the silver and the furnace. The word of God is purified. It has been tried and found to be true. Kwamba inafanya. Praise God. Believers, I want you to know this word is alive and it does what it says. It does what it promises. It is us to believe in it and allow it to create faith in us. Yani tuirusu neno ijenge imani ndani yetu so that it can work in us. It can bring the purposes of God alive in us. Praise be to God. When we believe it, because it is tried, it can't be wrong. It cannot go astray. It cannot make a mistake. It is not possible that what God says the word can do cannot be done. Praise be to God. The Bible says it is us. You know, we need to build faith in this word. The book of Job says that you'll decree a thing and it shall come to pass. You see, God is expecting us to develop faith in the word so much that when the word gives us a promise, you can stand on that promise and declare it. To declare is to decree and say what the word says. Hallelujah. When it says, by the stripes of the Lord Jesus, I have been healed. You can decree a thing like that. Unasimama katika ilo neno. You know, believers, we must believe in this word. We must trust this word. We must understand it is tried and tested by God and proved to be true. Praise God. So when the Bible say, I have said the book of Job chapter 22 verse 28. Job 22, 28. And it says, you will decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. And the light shall shine upon your ways. And the light shall shine upon your ways. You will decree a thing. Utatangaza jambo na litatendeka. Hallelujah. You will speak a word based on the word of God. And it shall come to pass. Let me tell you, God has given you the authority. God has given you the right. God has given you the privilege to apply the word, to speak the word, to decree the word, and create because your father is a creator. And he created things by his word. And that's why he has given us his word so that when we believe it, we can decree and it comes to pass. The Bible says you will decree, not God. Sasa mungu wa mekupatia the ability, the power to decree. Hallelujah. Wakati shida zimekuja kwako, you need to be able to stand out and say, I command you by the name of Jesus. I believe in the word of God. I believe in the promise of God. And you will not come into my territory. I decree that you depart from my life. I decree that you depart from my home. I decree that you go out of my life in Jesus' name. The Bible says you will decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Hata kama ni That's why the Bible says resist the devil 
and he'll flee from you because what you decree unajua we we live in a life of oppression because we don't know the word and we don't apply the word into our daily living this word is supposed to be your daily life this word is supposed to be your daily guide this word is supposed to shape your steps unainena inatengeneza mambo unainena inatengeneza njia unainena inaleta ukombozi hallelujah because it is life it is alive it has power it is god himself it has the breath of god it can't make a mistake praise god and so job says you will decree a thing hallelujah how many things have you decreed in your life yani kujitangazia mambo unaamka unajitangazia that is why the bible say let the weak say i am strong you are decreed let the, the sick say i am healed let the poor say i am rich that is how to make decrees so when the bible say by the word of god hallelujah the bible say job is saying you will decree a thing and it shall be established to you not to another person first yani kwako wewe you need to know you can control your life in god you can speak to your life until it changes you can speak to your mind until it changes you can speak to your thoughts until they obey god you can speak to your body mpaka imtii mungu amen yani unanenea mwili wako unamwambia ni nimekuambia katika jina la yesu hautagonjeka nimekuambia katika jina la yesu mimi si mgonjwa unajua imani ni upumbavu and this is why we need to know the word of god that we have that ability and power to decree and they say i am not poor but i'm rich but because you fear to decree then you live under the oppression of the enemy but when you know your place you'll stand and tell the devil i'm not a poor man mimi si masikini unakataa na unamwambia ibilisi i'm not poor and i will not live a poor life my hands are blessed my hands have ability to create wealth my hands have ability to make money and you decree na unajitangazia wewe mwenyewe the bible say and it shall come to be established hallelujah you know your life you can change it my brother your life can change when you when you have the word of god as your guide when you wear the word of god when you speak the word of god when the word of god yani neno la mungu linabumujika katika maisha yako kama chemi chemi itabadilisha mambo katika maisha yako you cannot have the word in dwell you and live differently the word will shape you the word will make you the word will guide you the word will put god into your life na mungu akiishi ndani yako you'll have the creative power hallelujah blessed be the name of jesus you know some of the things jesus said are very amazing hmm. matthew 22:29 matthew 22:29 the bible say jesus replied you are in error because you do not know the scripture or the power of god aliwaangalia watu can we go to 28 can we read 28 they were asking about the resurrection and uh, whether at the resurrection there will be marriage and jesus answered them and said munakosea kwa sababu hamjui neno la mungu na pia hamjui nguvu za mungu when you know the word of god when you treasure the word of god in your life kuna maswali hautauliza bana asifiwe kuna vitu you know 
The word of God will teach you. The word of God will educate you. The word of God will speak to your life. Will help you to know the way of salvation with its simplicity. Hallelujah. And Jesus said you error. Because these men were learned. These men were, they had education, but not on the things of God. And so, they used the wisdom of men to analyze the things of God. And Jesus told them, Munakosea kwa sababu hamjui maandiko. You error because you don't know what the scriptures say. That is why I'm saying even today, many believers are living out of their scope of life. Many believers are living away from their promises with God. Many believers are living below the standard of God's calling in their lives. Yani maisha yako, unaishi maisha ya chini. Si kwa sababu mungu alikuma uishi ya maisha, but because you don't treasure and read the word and understand what the word says. Because in the word, there is your help. In the word, there is your peace. In the word, there is your security. In the word, there is your healing. In the word, there is your deliverance. Amen. What you need is in the word. That is why Jesus said, read the word and you'll not error. In other words, when you paraphrase, you can say, he was telling them, you are in error because you don't understand the word. Believers, what you and that's why I'm emphasizing on the reading the word. On reading your Bible. On reading the word of God daily. Let it speak to your life. Hallelujah. Because you need to feel the faith is built. You know, tunaweza tu kujenga imani when we read the word of God. We can only build ourselves in this most holy faith. Jude, Jude chapter 1, you know, is only one chapter verse 20. Says that building yourselves in the most holy faith. How do we build ourselves in the most holy faith? By reading the word of God. By listening to the word of God. By building ourselves in the word of God. Because the Bible says faith comes by hearing. And the hearing the word of God. Faith is not built by reading novels. Faith is not built by coming to church only. Faith is built by reading. The Bible says faith, Romans, hallelujah, is it 10, 17? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. When we hear the word, the word will build faith in us. And so when Judy says that we build ourselves in the most holy faith, let me say every believer is supposed to build himself. Kila mmoja wetu anastahili kujijenga. Yani make yourself grow. Make yourself increase in the things of God. Make yourself become an adult in the things of God by growing yourself in the most holy faith through reading the word of God. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing. And the hearing by the word of God. When you read the word, the word will create faith in you. The word will build you. The word will make you to believe God. The word will give you ability to trust God in the hard and the difficult situations. In your trials, you can say, I know my God will come through. I know my God will save me. I know my God will deliver me. I know my God will heal me. I know my God will come my way. Because umejijenga katika imani. Wale wasio jijenga katika imani, they are easily yani beaten by small little things. Vitu vidogo vidogo zina wagonga wanawacha imani. Wanakwazo na tuvitu tudogo wanakuja kanisani and they come with the, the wrong attitude to listen to the wrong things. Hey, praise God. You know you can be in the church but trying to listen to the wrong things. Pastor Aseme, if you are not ready to grow in the faith, then we don't need you in the church. Wende ukisema, alisema tutoke kanisani. Alitufukuza, akasema hatutaki. 
See, that is true. And it's true, let me tell you, if you are not growing, you have, you're wasting yourself in the faith. You're wasting yourself here. If you don't want to grow, and the Bible says to grow is to listen to the word of God and to grow yourself in the most holy faith. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The Bible says, I want to read John chapter 10 verse 35. You know, you need to know your position. Nataka welewe mahali pako. In the word of God. John chapter 10 verse 35. Jesus said, if he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Can we go back so that you get 34, 34? Ili tuweze kuelewa what Jesus is saying. He is speaking about us, not other people. Jesus answered them and said, Oh, is it not written in your law? I said, you are God. The Lord Jesus was addressing the people and uh, helping them to understand who is a believer. Yani mungu, nani yesu anasema hivo? Those who are reading uh, the red letter edition, are those not the words of Christ? Sindio? And Jesus was saying, you the believer. He answered and they said, is it not written in your law that I said you are gods. And then he continues in that five. Bada ya kusema kwamba, the believers are gods. Those who believe in God, they become sons of God. Na kama baba yao, wao pia ni miungu. Hallelujah. And that's why, what God does, he can pass it over to you to do. Jesus healed the sick. And he sent us and said, where we preach this gospel, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they'll cast out demons. They'll lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. Even if they take deadly poison, they will not die. Hallelujah. That is in the book of Mark 16. Jesus is addressing the believers. He's saying, the works that I do, greater works than this you shall also do because I go to my father and because you are my children or you are sons, you are born in the kingdom and you are gods like your father. Amen. You will decree a thing because you have the ability that God has placed in you and it shall come to pass. Then he says in verse that five, I said you are gods and the scripture cannot be broken. Hallelujah. Kwamba, mungu akisema unaweza. Do you know God is not going to change his position because you don't believe? Because of you don't believe. The Bible says if he called them gods to whom God has given his word. Hallelujah. To whom the word of God came. Wale ambao neno la mungu tumepewa. Limekuja kwetu. Mungu anapo tuangalia na semanga. Nini munge lijua vile neno linasema. Kwamba nini ni miungu. Then you will speak the word. And the word will be active in your life. The word will work with you. The word will change lives. The word will bring salvation. The word will bring healing. The word will bring deliverances. Because it is the word of God and it cannot be broken. Hallelujah. When God has spoken, the word cannot change. It is you to believe it. It is you to embrace it. It is you to take your place, to take your position, and they declare what the word says, and the word will work on your behalf. We don't do miracles. It is the word of God that does the miracles. By the spirit of the living God, God, when we speak the word of God, God puts his breath into it. We don't cast out demons by our own power. It is the spirit of God when we speak the living word in us. That word comes out alive with the power of God and it does miracles. 
Let me tell you, believers, any of you can perform a miracle in Christ. Hata wewe. As long as you are born again, as long as you believe in God, as long as you trust in this word, as long as you are washed by the blood of Jesus, let me tell you, there is inherent power in you. There is life of God in He beated in you. Yani, kuna uwepo wa mungu, unakanda niyako, embedded in your life. E inakapo, waiting to be released. Hallelujah. Waiting for you to say, by the authority given to me, by the name of Jesus, I declare to you, demon, come out in Jesus' name. Why do you think they obey? It's not us. It's not us they obey. It is the God in us. It is the word of God in our lives. It is the God we speak because he dwells in us by his word. Hallelujah. And so, that's why the Bible says, he has said that you are God's. When you receive this word and you treasure it in your heart, God says you are God. That's a hard one. Hello? Is this scripture meant for believers or for angels? Did the word of God go to angels or to men? It was given. Jesus Christ came to save men and not angels. And the Bible say, to whom the word of God came. He called them gods. Hallelujah. Can you say, I'm a son of God. And I resemble my father. My father is the great God. And I'm God in him. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that you become God, we worship you. But I want you to know you carry the image of God. You carry the resemblance, the likeness of God. When God, when Christ comes into your life, he puts godliness in you. The Bible says, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they come and they make a God in your life. That's why when you are baptized by the Holy Spirit, you don't speak the languages of men, but you speak the language of the kingdom. Because it is the language of heaven. Because you have been fashioned, you have been created with the God dwelling in you, making you to be like them. Hallelujah. There is power in salvation. There is great transformation power in the life of Christ that he has put in the believer. And you can only tap it when you are in the word, when you read the word. That is why Jesus said, dwell in me and my words dwell in you. It is not when you don't read the word. Believers are weak. Because they don't read the word. Believers are ravaged by the devil because they don't read the word. They are deprived of their great promises because they don't read the word to trust what God has said about them. Hallelujah. This word has all what you need to live a godly life. It has everything that God has prepared for you so that you can inherit your great and uh, 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 great promises. So that in Christ, you may get your inheritance. It is in the word. My brother, I want to encourage you. Read the word and let it speak to your life. Read the word and let it be let it be planted in your life. Let it be planted in your heart so that any situation comes and you can speak a word in season because the Spirit of God quickens what is already planted in us. If you don't read the word, there will be nothing for the Holy Spirit to quicken. Praise be to God. 
I believe every believer must hear, must read, and meditate on the word to grow in the faith. Every believer is meant to be a reader of the word, to be a listener of the word. If you don't, if you, if you can't read, today we have got Bibles in audible uh, versions. Yani audible ni nasema, unaweza kununua Biblia ambayo inaongea. Ukisema nataka kusomewa kitabu cha John and even the tablets you can speak to them and even phones. Unaiambia read the book of First John chapter 1 uh, from verse 1 to the end and it will go there and start reading and you are just a listener and you can listen to the word. Kuna zingini you can buy in a cassette form. Yeah? Like in my, in my tablet I have, I have all the versions and I have them both written and in audio. So ukitaka kusikiza, you just need to go to a book and press the button written audio. And you can listen to your Bible even when you go to bed. The word can be, yani una, una, unasikia neno, linasoma kwako, and you can listen and listen and enjoy yourself. Hallelujah. So hakuna mtu ambaye anastaili kuwa Hana Biblia na ina, anasikiza daily. Tune yourself to the word of God. Tune yourself to listen to the voice of God. Many of us are listening to what the TV has said. Which part is when, where? Which part is said what? And we are not listening to what God said. Lambda wengi wenu ni kauliza Raila alisema nini jana mutaniambia. Ruto alisema nini jana mutaniambia. Lakini ni kikuuliza na mungu alisema nini. You have nothing to tell me. Is it true? Sini ukweli? Yeah, because we are tuned to the wrong places. We are listening to the wrong voices. Can we tune to the voice of God? The Bible is the voice of God. The Bible is the voice of God. And it is meant to change your life and to be planted in your heart until it can create things when it is working in your life. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When we listen to the word of God, it will create faith in us. You know, this is what I will tell you, my brothers. The word of God is what will give you success. Success in your life. The Bible says in the book of uh, Joshua chapter 1, when we read the word of God, when we meditate on the word of God, when faith is created by this word in our lives, then it, it has to partia success in whatever we do. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Hallelujah. Are we together? I want you to open that verse. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But... You shall meditate in it day and night. That you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you'll make your way prosperous. And then you'll have good success. Not bad success. Good success. All of us desire to have success. Praise God. Zote tungetamani tufaulu katika maisha. Ukienda shule, young student, we want to succeed in education. When you go to college, you want to succeed in your career. If you are a parent, you want to succeed in your family. You want to succeed in your uh, 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 investments. You want to prosper and not be a beggar. See, that is true. Joshua was given the secret. And I want you to look at the first phrase of that verse. That the Bible does not say, this word shall not depart from your hands where you are reading it. But it says, the book of the law shall not depart from your... How do you put it in your mouth? You must first put it in your heart. And then every situation that comes, you speak the word. Hallelujah. When you make the word your lifestyle, when you make the word your speech, when you make the word your, your interaction language, 
Hallelujah. Yaani neno hili liwe ndio lina shape your friends ni kina nani. Neno hili lina shape the kind of talk that you speak. Because many of us hawana neno katika midomo yao, wamejawa na masengenyo. Wamejawa na maneno ya watu. Wamejawa na hadithi za watu. You know, a lot of people are not talking the word daily. Because Joshua was told this word shall not depart from your mouth. Yaani ukiongea ongea neno. When you have a, if you are addressing a friend, let there be yani let the word speak. Let people hear the word. Hallelujah. Praise God. If we ask your acquaintances tukiulize marafiki zako the things you speak very few will testify that you are full of the word very few people will tell us ya kwamba wewe ukiongelesha unaongeanga neno you speak your mouth is filled with the word of god your mouth speaks the word of god your mouth tells people of what god has done Yaani ukiongea unaongea mambo ya Mungu tu. Joshua aliambiwa hili neno lisitoke kinywani mwako. Lakini hata usiku unapolala you will meditate on it day and I believe you cannot meditate on what you have not put in your heart. Are we together? For you to meditate on something, it means you have taken it from where it was and you have treasured it and put it in your heart. Like uh, if you are you are scared of a situation. To say me, you are facing an exam and you are afraid hata ukienda kulala unaendaga na mtiani true unaenda kulala lakini unaona hiyo mtiani ninaona sasa tumeletewa eh, mathematics paper 1 unaona umekalia hiyo hesabu unaota tu umekalia umeandika labda umefika katikati umeshindwa na kuandika answer and then you wake up unauliza ah kwani tulikuwa kwa exam because you are meditating on what you are thinking. Hile mawazo yako imekubeba. Ni yale mambo ambawe mekuja. When you fill your life with the word of God, I'm telling you, you'll be waking up in the night, unajikuta ukikemea mapepo. Unaamuka usiku, unasema tulikuwa kanisani. Nikaona jamaa meingia pale, amejawa na mapepo. And I told pastor, I'll handle him. Let me cast out the demon. In the name of Jesus, I command you demons out of your life. Hallelujah. Ume kariri neno mpaka limekuja until you are meditating on the word of God even at night. When you meditate on the word is when you can just, your, your, your thoughts are filled with the word of God. You are thinking and your, your desires are filled with the word of God. And Ukikuta unaota za watu, unashindanga ukiongea za watu. Ukikuta unaota na za mungu, unashinda ukiongea za mungu. Na ndiyo sababu ndoto zingine zimejawa na nyama tu. Munaota ndoto ambazo ni za kukusumbua. Because you have allowed the flesh to lead you and not the word of God. You can change your dreams by filling your mouth and filling your heart with the word of God. Yes. Bana asifiwe. Mi naamini unaweza badilisha ndoto zako. Kama unaotanga ndoto za kukimbizwa na nyoka na ndoto za kukimbizwa na ma, eh, ma buffalo. It's because you are living in that life. Fill your life with the word of God. And you'll go to your bed and meditate on the word. And the word, the Bible say, will give you prosperity. The word will give you success. Joshua aliambiwa hii ndio njia ya kufaulu. Men of us are looking for the way to succeed. The secret is very simple, the word of God. 
Hallelujah. Njia ya kufaulu ni rahisi neno la Mungu. Treasure this word. Plant it in your heart. Speak it day by by day, night by night. When you go to bed, read chapters. Soma neno la Mungu. Likuongeleshe ukienda kulala. Eh. And when you go to bed, that word will continue playing in your mind. You know, when you listen to music, the music remains singing at the background in your, in your mind. Ukisikiza wimbo, ukisikiza wimbo wa dunia, when you listen to secular music, it will remain playing in your background. If that is the last thing you listened to when you, before you went to bed, that is the song that will sing in your life in the bed. When you listen to a message or you listen to a good gospel music, even when you go to bed, there will be background music playing in your life. That is why the Bible says you shall meditate on it day and night. Sasa we ni kuulize. Usiku unaotanga nini? What fills your mind? What fills your heart when you are not in control? When you are not the one dictating, it is the things that you have been doing in the day and the things that you listen to and the things that you planted in your heart. Bana asifiwe. And so I'm saying, if you want to change your life, change it by listening to the word of God. Changing, change it by listening or reading the word of God and your life will change definitely. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Because when we read the word of God, it comes into our lives and it creates faith. And that faith is what we lift with our mouths and we speak it. As we have read in uh, Romans 10, 17, that faith comes by hearing. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 14 says, The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart, that you may believe it. Hallelujah. But the word is very near you in your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. Okay. My version says that you may believe it. Yani neno ukitaka kuamini neno lazima ulitoe kwa kusoma uliweke katika mdomo wako kwa kulisoma na kunena na ili lipandike ndani ya moyo wako. You know, when, when we say faith come by hearing, the word that you read, it, is not, it does not create faith until it is part of your heart. Until inaingia moyoni mwako. And then it is activated by the Spirit of God and you speak it now in faith. Hallelujah. So the word is very near you, even in your mouth. And I encourage if you one way to read the Bible, don't read in silence. Don't read your Bible quietly. Don't read kimoyo moyo. Read it audibly. Read to hear with your ears. I'm saying read it. And let your ears hear what you are reading. Lisome kama unasomea mtu mwingine. Lisome kama unaeleza mtu mwingine. When you read that word it will sink in your heart. And when you bring it out from your heart, it's a word of faith. It will be a faith word. Now you speak it in faith. And you say, the word of God teaches me. The word of God tells me. And so I declare. And so I decree. And so I say. And it shall come to be. The Bible says, when it comes from your heart, then you will do it. Or then you will make it to happen. Hallelujah. creative. How do we make it creative? When we are able to lift it from the written word, we put it in our heart, and then we speak it. The Bible says that we may believe it. We can't believe the Bible when it is on our table. We believe it when it is in our hearts. We believe it when it is speaking to us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wacha kusema Biblia inasema weka moyoni mwako. 
ijaze moyoni mwako uinene kutoka katika vilindi vya mao wako uone inafanya kazi haleluya unaenda unakutana na watu unawaambia the book of mark says i lay my hands upon the sick and they will recover now i declare I put my hands on you in the name of Jesus and I decree that you are healed in Jesus name. That's what mimi that's how I've grown in faith. That's how I believe when you come to me to pray for you. I believe the word that I've read and I believe it because it's in my heart and I practice it and I put my hands and I've laid my hands on many people and I've seen them healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tunawekelea mikono hapa tunawaambia pokea roho mtakatifu na mnanena kwa lugha. Why? Because the Bible says even the disciples when they laid hands on them they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke with other tongues. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, and we declare it and we have seen it work. The Bible says we shall cast out demons. Yes, and we have laid hands on the demonic possessed. Na tunasema in Jesus name, demons we command you out. Na tunaona inatoka. It's not by anything else. Faith comes by hearing. The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart, the word of faith which we speak. Si uweke neno moyoni mwako, ulinene uone likifanya kazi. Uone ikibadilisha maisha yako. Unenee hali zako mpaka zibadilike. Unenee maisha yako mpaka yabadilike. Unenee watu wenu mpaka wabadilike. You know you can speak to people na unasema fulani ataokoka. Na ninaamini ataokoka. Ni ndugu yangu ninamwombea ninaamini ataokoka mpaka anaokoka. Because this word is alive. This word works. This word changes situations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. That is why the Bible teaches us. Paul is speaking to Colossians and Lesema in Colossians 3:16. He prayed that the word of God may indwell may dwell in you richly. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms hymns and spiritual songs singing with the grace in your hearts to the lord can you see what the word does yani neno la mungu likae kwa wingi sana ama kwa utajiri mwingi sana ndani yenu let the word of god dwell in you richly yani neno likikuja bila inasema ndani yako when the word of, when you are filled with the word of god When you are filled with the word in your life the bible say katika hekima yote hata wale unaongelesha mtu akija kuomba maarifa unamuelekeza kwa neno la Mungu hallelujah unamwambia you know the bible says you know the bible teaches us you know the bible helps us to understand the word of god gives us this knowledge hallelujah And the Bible say when you are filled with the word of God there will be wisdom you will teach others teach and admonishing one another Yaani mkifundishana na kuelekezana mmoja kwa mwingine the Bible say with the Psalms Sasa ukitembelea mwenzako mnaketi pamoja mnaongea saburi mnaongea nyimbo za sifa the Bible say with the Psalms with the hymns and the spiritual songs singing with the grace in your heart to the lord mukiongea munaongeleshana that's my prayer my brother tutembeleane tuongeleshane neno tutembeleane tuimbe nyimbo za sifa tuje kanisani leta wimbo glory to god come and sing to the lord because there is a song in your heart The Lord has spoken to you. There is something God has said. When you are filled the with, with the word, you'll have a song when we come to worship. When you are filled with the word, you'll have a testimony when we come together. When you are filled with the word, when you fellowship the word, ukitembelea jirani anapona. Haumwachi na vidonda, haumwachi na ugonjwa, 
Unajua watu wakikuletea masengenyo wanakuacha ukiwa siki. Wanakuacha na chuki. Wanachuo wanakuacha na mawazo mabaya. He fulani e, na vile na muonanga ni rafiki yangu. E, alisema hivyo kweli na ni uongo ni masengenyo. When you are filled with the word of God you will pray for them. Instead of talking people you will be praying for the kijiji. Mnakutana mnasema na kijiji chetu neno la Mungu linatuombea tubadilishe mazingara yetu si tuombee hii kijiji. My brother can we take the next week for prayer? Ili tuombee our city. Ili tuombee miji yetu. Ninaona vijana wa fulani wameanza kupotoka. Si tuombee. Si tubebe hii mzigo wa dada yetu. Si tuombee watoto wake. Si tuombee nyumba yake. Si tuombee maisha yake. Hallelujah. With the wisdom speaking to one another, teaching one another with the psalms, with the hymns, with the spiritual songs, singing in your hearts unto the Lord. Mukimwimbia Bwana. Hallelujah. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. We are shallow. That's why we are filled with the activities of people. That's why we understand the world better than the Lord. We understand the things of the world better than the things of the kingdom. Si ujazwe na neno na kuombea katika jina la Yesu. Si Mungu akujaze maneno yako yajawe ni neno. Si maisha yako yajawe na neno. Yaani mkiongea nyumbani muongee neno la Mungu. See the Lord richly dwell in you. Let the word of Christ richly dwell in your lives. Na waombea in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you see the word of God ndio liweze kukaa ndani yetu lazima tulipende. Lazima lipate nafasi ndani yetu. 2 Thessalonians 3:1 inasema 2 Thessalonians 3:1 Because naomba kwamba neno linene from within. Unajua neno likiongea kutoka nje alitatubadilisha. Thessalonians anasema finally brethren pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. Kwamba neno la Mungu iwe na ile tunaita free cause in us like it is in your lives. That's our prayer. Kwamba the word of God is to, supposed to have a free cause. If you can read other versions like the Bereans. Yaani neno la Mungu liwe na wazi Yaani likipita lisipate vikwazo lisipate visingiti lisiwekewe barriers don't let the word of god have a free course in your lives that is a prayer that for the word to dwell in you richly it must flow in you yani neno litiririke likiingia unasikia yani inakufurahisha inakuletea amani inakuletea tumaini that is why the psalmist would say blessed is the man who, dwell, who, who, who sits not who stands not who walks not with the wicked but his delight is in the law katika neno la bwana when you take delight in the word of god the word will shape your life the word will refresh you. The word will flow in your life and will give you direction. I'm telling you. Hili neno tukilipatia nafasi katika maisha yetu itatubadilisha. Na iwezi kukubadilisha ikose kubadilisha hata hali zako. I'm telling you the word will change your situation. Dwell in the word and the word will change your situation. The word will shape you. And the word will give you inheritance among us the righteous in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because it is only then when we read the word like that in a tuongelesha. And you see, we can, we can read the word in tuongelesha lakini tukatae kusikia. Another thing the Bible say, Isaiah alisema kwamba mungu ufraishwa na wale wanaosoma neno lake na wanatetemeka yani they read the word those who tremble at his word unajua kuna watu wana wanalisoma neno so casually that even when it rebukes them they can't hear when it corrects them they can't hear when it 
shapes their thinking they can't change. May you read the word of God intentionally to change your life. Read the word of God intentionally that it can rebuke you. Ikikwambia hii ni dhambi unasema nimekubali ni dhambi sitafanya. Hallelujah. Ikikwambia hii njia ni ya waovu usiende unasema sitaenda. Ikikwambia don't keep company with the wicked unasema sitakaa nao. Bwana asifiwe. You can read that in Isaiah 65 66 verse 5 where it says that God yani Mungu anafurahia wale ambao wanatetemeka wanapolisoma neno lake. May the word of God make your life to change because when it speak to you you tremble. Yaani unatetemeka unasema oh Mungu nimekosea. Oh Mungu nilienda nimefanya hivyo naomba msamaha. Yaani inakufanya unatubu. Inakufanya unasema sitaenda njia fulani, sitakaa na kina fulani. Nimeona oh si watakatifu. Mazungumzo yao siyataki tena in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the word of God sing in your lives. Let it speak to your hearts. Praise God. Now, I I would like to read something because I can't finish this. There's so much. You know, there's but allow me to say one thing before I skip so many. That the word of God is what makes us to witness. Ninaweza kukosa kusema hii nitakosea. You know, when we have the word of God in our heart, it creates room for us to witness. A lot of us are silent. We have nothing to tell people about Christ because we don't read the word. We are shallow in the word and we give them the wrong word when we are not reading the word. Lakini neno la Mungu, Biblia inasema Mungu akiongelesha Jeremiah, alisema neno langu ni kama moto. Neno langu ni kama nyundo. The word is like fire and the word is like a hammer. That when you read the word Glory to God. When you read the word, it becomes fire in your bones. We are silent about Jesus Christ because we don't have the word in our lives. When it gets in, you can't keep quiet. You are quiet because you are empty. You don't witness because you have nothing to give. But when you are filled with the word, the Bible says the word will be like fire in your bones. Sasa mifupa yako ikiwakishwa moto utakosa kuongea. Ikiuma utakosa kunena. I'm telling you when the word is in your life you can't keep quiet. Mimi I am a testimony. I would look for any opportunity to witness or testify wherever I went as a believer. Yes, I want people to know that I'm born again. I want people to know that there is salvation. I want to, people to know that they can be saved. I want people to run away from sin. And so, I would look for any opportunity to rebuke the sinner. I would look for any opportunity to tell people you need Jesus. It was fire and it is fire and it's still fire in my bones. Hallelujah. I thank God. Let me tell you, I will not keep quiet as long as god gives me opportunity i will not stop witnessing as long as i have the breath of life because the word of god in my life will not allow me to silent but we are quiet we are silent about the word there are people who ever since they got saved they have never gone to tell somebody you know what it means to be born again you know i'm saved i used to live a life like this No, we were taught how to witness for one minute in a very simple way. In a, and every, each of us can do that. I know some of us, we lack probably scriptures. We'll need to teach you scriptures for witnessing. But one way you can witness in a very simple way, you need to tell somebody. See, you are born again. And this uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a lifestyle of witnessing. Unauliza mtu, What is the best thing that has ever happened to your life? Anakwambia you know, eh siku ile nilienda Mombasa bwana, nilifurahia nikaona bahari, nikasikia vizuri. You know, my biggest adventure was when I got married. 
Mwingine akwambia my biggest adventure was when I went to America. And then you tell them, "Thank you. I want to tell you the best thing that has ever happened to my life. It is when I gave my life to Jesus. I used to live a sinful life. I was a sinner. I used to go to church just like probably you do. I used to, to do things of the world without knowing that there is salvation. But one day I realized that Christ will come and he'll come for the righteous. And I knew I was not righteous. And I gave my life to Jesus. Ever since that day, my life changed. I am no longer the same. I've been able to keep away from sin. I've been able to live a righteous life. I've been able to serve God. My heart feels joy as I minister on the things of God. Would you like to have this as your Lord and Savior? Would you like to welcome him in your heart? And akwambia, yes. Hata mimi ningetaka hiyo amani. Hata mimi ningetaka kusikia sina hukumu moyoni. And ningetaka kuokolewa. Because many people are in the church. They went to church but they never got saved. You need to help them to get saved. And when you tell them that, they'll tell you, help me. And then you lay your hands on them and pray them to get saved. Hallelujah. And in five minutes, you have won a soul to Christ. The Bible says this word, when you read the book of Jeremiah 23, 29, the word is like fire. The Bible says the word is like a hammer. We can open Jeremiah 23, 29. Is not my word like fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the, the rock in pieces. Yani, hili neno likiwa ndani yako. Lazima itakuwa unasikia, I must hammer it somewhere. I must tell somebody. I must help somebody know Jesus. But you cannot have the word, and you have nothing to tell the world that they need Jesus. If it is fire, then it's burning. Hey, and if it's not burning, it's not fire. Hallelujah. And this word, the Bible says like a hammer. You can also read verse 9, it says the same. In verse 9 of the chapter 20. You know, kwamba neno ili ni kama nyundo. Yani, haijali, haijali ni nani utagonga. Na unajua ukigonga itabomoa. The Bible says it will break you know, uh, 20 verse 9, it says, But his word was in my heart like a burning fire, shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. Nani anaweza kusema hivo? Neno ili ukiluweka moyoni mwako, inakuwa ni kama moto, hauwezi kuzuia. Jeremiah anasema nilijaribu kushikilia ikakataa, Ninajaribu kusema sita ongea, ninakuta, nimesema. Ninajaribu kusema, all hold back, nakuta iweze kani. We are silent, we don't witness because we lack the word. But the Bible say, the word in our heart. His word was in my heart like a burning fire. That is why I'm praying that God, God's word may dwell with you, in you richly. Ikikanda niyako kwa utajiri, I tell you you'll be witnessing. Utabadilisha maisha ya wengi. Utakuwa wewe unasikitu takutuamia. Every Sunday you'll have a, either a song, a testimony, or something to tell us. Nisi tunakuwa tunakuzuia. Because there is fire in your bones. But when you don't read the word, there is nothing. Unakuwa maziwalala. Umetulia tu. Haujui ni nini kinaendelea. May God deliver us from the spirit of slumber in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want to wind up by speaking the story of Jesus in the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 41. Allow me to read. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and they said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. 
But he said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and they said to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? I want you to look at this story as your life. And I want you to see this story as part of you and your relationship with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that the disciples had been with Jesus. They had witnessed the many miracles that he did. They had walked with Jesus. You can find the same story actually in other uh, uh, Matthew, it appears in chapter 8 and in Luke, it also appears in chapter 8 chapter 8 uh, of the two books from verse 18 in Matthew and verse 22 in uh, Luke and it's a story about Jesus and the disciples how they had lived together but they had not believed in Jesus they had little faith. They were men of little faith. That when they found themselves in a problem, we don't see them even making any effort to solve it. They don't make any effort even of prayer. They are afraid. The boat is filling up. Matthew tells us it was a ship. Of course, for Jesus to be asleep in the stern, then it means it, was, it had several stairs. And Jesus is there, but he's enjoying his sleep. The disciples are struggling. Nafikiri walikuwa na chota maji wakijaribu kutupa inje, ika overwhelm. Maji kazidi. That is when they went to Jesus and they said to him, don't you care? that we are perishing. And the Bible tells us, Luke says, he rebuked the wind and he rebuked the storm. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are faced with, li with the life challenges. We have situations that call for us to wake up. Because when you read this word, Jesus expected them to have acted. Shindio. After he rebuked the storm, after he rebuked the sea, he asked them, Yani, mumejawa na uoga. Kwa sababu amuna imani, you know, he said, okay, he said, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? You know, and we are troubled on every side, the Bible says. But let me tell you, a lot of the things that are torturing believers is because they don't believe in the word. They don't preach the word. They don't practice the word. Like the disciples when bought him a jar magic, and they are watching and waiting for Christ to act. The wind is severe. It's beating the boat left and right. And they are doing nothing. They are waiting to call Jesus. Jesus said he expected them, them to act in faith. He expected them to act in faith. Other than being afraid, he expected them to act in faith. He expected them to have stood and say we have been with Jesus. And we know that he has authority and the power over the wind and the oceans. We command you by the Lord Jesus asleep in the boat, silent. Hallelujah. He had an expectation as he has an expectation in your life. Let me tell you, Christ has given you the authority. Christ has given you the power Wacha kila wakati kusema nangojia bana Yesu waje anifanyie nangojia bana Yesu waje anitoe nangojia bana Yesu uh -uh. call him by prayer and say I am exercising the authority he has given me 
you have the authority to speak a matter and it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. He never expected them to be afraid and he doesn't expect you to live in fear even today. Wacha kuogopa. Speak a word. Stand out and speak to the situation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to note four things. One, they were with Jesus in the boat, but they were afraid. Many of us are believers, but we live a fearful life. Yes, we tell people we are born again, but we have no faith in the belief that we say we have. We don't practice it. They had Jesus, but they are afraid. They had the Savior, but they are living a fearful life. May God deliver you from every fear by speaking the word of God. Apply the word. Let it change your situation in the name of Jesus. The other thing you realize, Jesus was with them, but he was asleep. Let me tell you, he was asleep, the disciples were in trouble, but he was there with them, but he is. And I tell you, a lot of believers are in the faith, they confess, but Jesus is asleep. He's not, he's, not, he's not involved. He's not with them. In essence, kwamba, lazima tumuite. Lazima tumuinvolve. Lazima tumuzishe. Bwana asifiwe. He was with them, but he was asleep. Number three, when he woke up, he had power over the wind, and he had the power over the sea. He spoke and the wind stilled and the sea calmed. Praise God. I'm praying for you. Because it is that word which is alive in you. That word that is in your heart. The Bible says which we preach. The word is in your mouth even in your heart, the word of faith which you need just to confess and you see situations change. Hallelujah. Tunaweza kubadilisha hali zetu kwa kulinena neno la mungu. You need to speak this word and it will change your situation. Yes, you are born again. Yes, we know Jesus loves you. But you must exercise your faith. Jesus can be present but you must stand. Hallelujah. Praise God. One man of God alitwambia kwamba alipewa chai na siku moja na mke wake. Na alipopewa chai akachukua akaweka kwa mdomo akakunywa akasema, "Oi, umenipatia chai lakini inaombia inaonja nduvia. Haina sukari." Mama akamwambia, "Hapana. Ni wewe ujakoroga. Start it." Praise God. You can have sugar in the tea, but it's not until you stir it that you'll taste the taste of sugar. Inaweza kuwa wewe una yesu ndani yako. Lakini amelala. Stir him up so that you can taste his presence. Hallelujah. Stir him up in your life so that you can feel his presence. Aongea kwa maisha yako. Aongea kwa hali zako. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Their problem when he addressed this was lack of faith. Shida yako. Shida yako. My brother, my sister. It's not that you are not a believer. It's not that God is not alive. It's that not God cannot work miracles. It's lack of faith. Shida Tunazo beba na tunashindwa tunakabiliana nazo aje. It's not because God is unable. It's not because you are not born again. It's just simple lack of faith. 
Do you believe the word? Stir it up. Bana asifiwe. Kama unaliamini neno, koroga lionge kwa maisha yako. Koroga libadilisha hali yako katika jina la Yesu. Sisi tusimame tukoroge neno.